So, so Mike, I, I, I kind of want to start here with you, right? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, me and Vladis kind of talked about it, and after, you know, listening to the second disc, I'm like, well, shit, my God, I love it, because he got exactly what he wanted. <laughs> Ain't you always saying that? <laughs> you come out with a whole 100% R&B album? Mm -hmm. He did that on the second joint. Mm -hmm. I can also say, man, I really want a bowl of soup. But if the soup ain't good, I'm like, well, shit, I got my soup. <laughs> then in hip hop, yeah, yeah, like, you know we was gonna do it, right? Like, we wasn't gonna skip it. Right. Drake, Scorpion, it's an album review. I guess this one's not a playlist. Nah, nah, it's not. It's, 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 a, it's a double album, man. Yeah, double album. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. I wanted, like, uh, what's the song? Just hold on, we're going home. Mm -hmm. I want some shit like that. Yeah. It's, but it's, it's, it's so I funny because when I was listening to this too, I was like, ooh, I don't think Mike wants this. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he said he should have listened to Mike. Yeah, man. I was like, uh, I don't know no, about this uh, R&B uh, no. that, that Can, Mike wanted. It's, it's too bad. much Drake. It's too but that, much But that's him trying to be on some slick shit, right? What do you mean because, slick shit? Because he's going to do the <laughs> hip hop album and they're going to do the R&B album, right? Mm -hmm. This is him testing the market for a complete, full, R&B album to see if it, if it can land, if it can work. For me, I think because there's so much failure on 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 this album, especially on the hip hop side, you know, I, I think it's like, well, you know, maybe I, at some point I can transition out of hip hop into R&B. So I'll do a, I'll just throw another album on here and make it completely R&B. If it works, then there's my. I would have agreed with you if it was like Take Care era. I would have said he could transition. Mm -hmm. He lost the good writers. I think true. And that's what it. That's what it is. No, I mean, his, his whoever's timing, writing now is bad. Right, his timing is terrible. Like he his planning was terrible. But I think he does see to, the end is near. Drake is done. You know why he's not done, Ken? Don't don't give me the Twitter mean, shit. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not like this album. Yeah, yeah I'm about to say that, he's done. Like how? It's still doing numbers. That, like crazy. It, it, well, it's gonna do numbers. Well, it's dang. gonna do numbers. So he's not game. done really. But, but, it's not, but it's not just that. It is that he's still culturally influential. No, that too. Yeah, no, what do you mean, no, Ken? No, Ken. Not. First, first of all, nice for what is every woman's summertime anthem right now? That's, what do you, what do you, what, what, that song getting played like that? Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, we are not even. How old are you? Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, that's because you're trying to do the DJ Jimmy shit. No, 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 no. And, no, and, and hey, do the Louisiana Ken, beat. That's song is big. That song is huge. That song is huge. Like, even like on the last one where I told you on views, right? Like, how is this? Hold on, hold on, I got you. Uncle Ken, hold on, let, 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 let. Just like on the last one, right? Like, I told you, controller was huge, all of that Jamaican inspired stuff, you know what I'm saying? All of that shit was huge. We may not like that shit, but he's influential, Ken. And the albums don't need to be great. No. He needs one or two tracks, no. and he kills the summer and it's a wrap. I think he got That's one. That's not true. No, no, he got more than love God's plan too. Yep. God's plan was successful and, and became popular because of the video. It doesn't matter though. It's it's the song successful and popular. The song, too. the song because it's a meme. Because people, every time something happens, then people make a joke out but of Ken, it. But that's the reason. But you're pointing out the money. reason. I'm exactly. upset, flopped. Uh, uh, that's the only one that okay, flopped. Exactly. I don't think. I, I, I think that's God, the only song I think that God's flopped. plan was more gimmicky. I, I think if God's Doesn't plan matter. didn't have the gimmick, but but that's that's yeah. kind of the point. It's built, it, 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 it's built into Drake. It worked. It's built in, Ken. The gimmicks, the the, the trendiness. The jumping on Migos and a whole bunch of new artists and you stuff know, like I, that I to be out there. I'm early. I'm always early on this shit, right? <laughs> I'm early. And I understand. I'm okay with being wrong until I'm right. And this is just another one of those situations. It's a Kanye, this Kanye, nigga Kanye is Kanye situation? done. Yes, it's Kanye all over with. He, he, what? Kanye's not done. What? You're a hater. You're a hater. You're like, the word Kanye can't come out of your mouth no more. There have been plenty of people hitting me up saying you were right, Kanye's done. Yeah, Over the years. hip hop fans, they're not the majority of the world, okay? They love Kanye. Do you understand how much Kanye ain't done, bro? Get over Dead Kanye. hip hop fans are not representative of the majority of the industry. I think what's going to happen with Drake is Drake is going to be Lil Wayne on the tell him when Lil Wayne became bad. He was still extremely popular. People still fuck with him and listen to, listen to him based on the popularity alone, but the songs and the content wasn't good anymore. Doesn't but matter, you know, but you know what happened? Wayne, 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 Wayne was done. Wayne, 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 Wayne was done. Wayne was done. When? Paul said Wayne was done. When was Wayne done? 
there were a lot of people saying, man, Wayne just ain't got it anymore. Let me put context to that. The reason why Wayne is quote unquote done is because he don't have nights for what? When's the last time Wayne put something like that True out, that. Ken? The reason why, you know when Drake is, is completely done? I don't think Drake's done? gonna have that many more nights for what? I disagree. Nah, he's very generic. I don't yes. think he has okay. any more waves he can steal. When listening to this album, mm -hmm. listen to how bland, like it's even more generic and bland than before. Mm -hmm. Going back to what Mike was saying, the writers are gone. Mm -hmm. He's unable to create an album full of hits. Yeah, he got one. Nice for what? If you want to throw God's plan in there because of the gimmick, he got two. Mm -hmm. I'm upset, flopped. Drake has always, always had multiple hits. Multiple album. hits coming into an album. Mm -hmm. This time, these songs, nice for what may have been popular because of the beat and the gimmick, God's plan, whatever, but they just didn't hit the way they have in the past. And listening and checking the mood of not only Twitter, because Twitter's whatever, but just around the universe and around the campus. They are not fucking with this. And these are people that, that don't listen to hip hop like that. And I understand exactly where you're coming from. And when we look at this as, as a project in its entirety, 1000% agree with you. I'm not taking anything away, right? But at the end of the day, where Drake is and the space he permeates in the landscape of music alone, all he needs is a couple of joints to still be relative and popping. You know what I look at when I look at this, right? The majority of Drake's big songs have some type of features. This whole rap side of his album had one feature. That's unlike Drake, right? Do you think that he's gonna make another album where he doesn't have Ross, DJ Khaled, this guy, that guy? Come on, Ken. He's still going to be able to make hits, which is all that Drake needs to stay relative. He is the quintessential commercial rapper. You can say, like, I'm not gonna disagree with him saying that this could be the beginning of the end. Mm -hmm. But for you to just be like, Drake's done. That, that statement makes no sense because the numbers say yeah, otherwise. otherwise. But, but yeah. the quality of the music yes. would definitely lead me to think that he's on the decline. Right, I'll right. agree with yeah. you there. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I listen to this, I'm like, oh, he, it's over, it's a wrap. And the Pusha thing was a part of it too, because like you just said, the industry, it hurt him in the industry also. This cool. album is nothing but Drake whining and moaning. It's like, feel sorry for me. I'm you know, I'm a victim. I'm a you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the good guy. The I'm, I'm, I'm doing the right thing because I don't want to end this career. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, what? But he's still taking little jabs little here. Jabs. And you oh, take yeah. a little jab, but that's what, that's some punk shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> it is. You can't, you yeah, can't, you can't, can't sit here and try to pretend to be the good guy right. after losing. After losing. Right. That doesn't work. Right. And, doesn't take and still try to take little jabs. Yeah. yeah. It's right. like you look, like you look silly. silly. Yeah. You look silly. Yeah. Just don't say anything right. at all. Right. right. Yeah. That's crazy. But he's so hurt he can't help it. But see, and that's what fucked up this album. Yes. I feel like Drake was too stuck in that. Mm -hmm. Like this sounds to me like Drake actually wrote all of this. Mm -hmm. And that was probably the issue. I think Drake should have called in somebody right. else to yeah. help him. Because we all know that Drake can make these hits. But that Pusha T shit got in his head yep. and he let Pusha win yep. all over again. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. He sure did. Yep. He did. Especially with segregating the album. I got an R&B side. I have a hip hop I that was side. a good idea. No, 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 no. I, I agree, mm. right? It oh, was man. a good idea. Mm. But then that puts tremendous pressure on the hip hop side, especially with everything that has transpired. Right. Because, 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 because if Pusha's True. album was eh, and then there was infrared, True. you know what I'm saying? Then right. there's not that much pressure. But Seven tracks, amazing project, called you out, right. you called him out, he came back, and then you have a hip hop album? Yeah. 12 tracks and we get this? And it's not hidden. It's that, not that's, hidden. A, that's problematic for Drake. Yeah. For me, man, I, I definitely think that and, and I guess on the show, I've been the Drake apologist. I'm the one that kind of, you know, has been you know, pro Drake. On this, I, I, I did get some tracks that I can revisit though. So it wasn't like all the way fucked up. Like, oh my God, like this is completely trash. Mm -hmm. But it was bad. The ones I know I can go back to are eight out of 10, Sandra's Rose and Talk Up and Nice For What. So out of 25 joints, <laughs> I, I really got four that I'm like. Is I the know one I'm with, with, with Jay in that one? Yeah, yeah talk, talk up. Talk up. Yeah, that's just hard as fuck. I like the way he flipped that with beat. That. Yeah, the the beat sounds crazy. The beat was nice. I love Jay on DJ, it. DJ, DJ Paul. Paul. Was DJ Paul. Paul. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, 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 I know. The way he flipped that, man. The, the, yeah, like, that's that, really that was... Yeah. Yeah. And then he but added the, it. the worst part was Drake. I mean, I didn't even really think Jay shit was all. It was a, it was a little. It was, it was a little, little flat. It was yeah, a little flat. It was, it was yeah. it didn't, almost felt like he did it on purpose. Jay was yeah. a little flat. I almost felt like he did it on purpose. Yeah, like I, I, I ain't giving you all. Yeah, Jay was Jay was flat. Yeah. flat. He was surprisingly flat on this yeah. song. The yeah. next line was dope. Like yeah. 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 yeah, there were a couple Drake lines on here that I actually thought were kind of fresh. Like it just like from the first song, he had that line about. Uh, you niggas pop mollies, my mollies pop niggas. I was like, wow, that's actually a dope line. That, that was on Survivor. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, and that, was, that song yeah. was actually not it was bad. A cool opener. It was that a was cool a cool opener. opener. So yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. I might actually like a Drake album. Yeah. And then it was like, the by opener. the second song, I was nah, like, stop. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is this garbage? Yeah, she's not a stop. That song Watch was terrible. Rolly, this, oh, this, Jesus. Don't stop. <laughs> <I'm> like, oh. <laughs> that, oh. You know what I'm talking about? It was all nonstop. Like, yeah, nonstop was bad. That was the one that had the, um, the the light skin line, right? The, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm light skin, skin but, but I'm, I'm a dark, dark nigga. nigga. Yeah. 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 You know what confused me <laughs> about the rap really? side of this shit? That it wasn't good rap. <laughs> <laughs> Is that some of some of the songs sounded like they should have been on the R and B side. So I'm like, yeah. so I'm listening. I'm like. Ain't this supposed to be rap, nigga? Like, like are like, Drake fans saying that this is good rap, Drake? Because I've never liked his rapping I mean, ever. Yes. And I feel like it has gotten progressively worse. Yes. And here, I was listening to this, and it's like Drake didn't even sound like he wanted to rap. He sounded bored, uninterested, and there was like nothing even slightly innovative at all here. It's like everything I heard. Was something I've heard Drake do a million yeah, times before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, th th this this project didn't push any type of boundaries for Drake at all, musically, sonically, nothing. Watch, but does it ever though? Yeah, yeah, yeah you no, know, he, 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 he would normally does. have one of yeah, he yeah, would he, normally he right. have a couple. Where it's like yeah. that's yeah. different, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. or you know, this like pairing, it. you know, yeah. the features. There's always something that Drake does that's somewhat right. interesting. On this, he didn't do anything that was really interesting. Nothing. Now, in terms of it being bad rap, like I said, I think on Sandra's roles, you know, like I don't think that that was considered bad rap. You know, that wasn't a bad rap Drake right there, right? Like I felt that that was pretty decent. Um, eight out of ten, I felt like oh, that as well. What about Can't Take a Joke? I actually thought that one was a good one. I can't. That one where the beat wasn't all that hot, mm. but the way Drake wrote it was actually kind of nice. But that's the only one. The rest of these. What do y'all think about him addressing some of the stuff, like how he was saying, uh? I was hiding. I wasn't hiding. Hiding my kid. I was hiding. I wasn't hiding my kid from the world. I was hiding the world from my kid. It's a good move. Yeah. It's a nice try. Yeah. Nice try. Nice try. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody believe that shit. Yeah. Nobody's gonna nobody. believe that shit. I mean, well, I won't say nobody. Yeah. I know all y'all. People are. Oh, I believed it. I believed it. But yeah, come on, man. We we know what that was about. So what do y'all think about that track all together? I wrote my. Which so track was that? Emotional. That's the one where he's kind of addressing everything. It, it was, <laughs> you don't even remember it. No, 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 no. I remember it now. Yeah. And it's just again, it was like, what's the fucking point? I think it was I okay. The beat I think was the more, was more interesting than, uh, than yeah. Drake. With Mariah. That, that Mariah Carey yeah, sample, sample was dope. But like, you can't put no fucking Mariah Carey sample <laughs> on, the on some, no some real man song shit. where you're okay. responding to Pusha T. Like, like you can't do. Yeah. Look, but he wasn't responding. This, That's the one he was playing victim. No, I know. Yeah, 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 but yeah. he's playing victim because Pusha T bullied me. Right. Here's the thing. Either you come back hard as fuck or don't come back yeah, at no, all. Right. No, Drake right. would have been better off ignoring the entire thing. <laughs> just act like Adidon never happened. And just make a fucking album worth the hits. That's where Drake fucked but up. But that won't be so, genuine though. Drake is one of those artists that always puts wears his emotions on his sleeve. Mm -hmm. So if he didn't do that, this wouldn't be a Drake album. Make one make song emotions. then. Make one song. And then leave it the fuck yeah. alone. But does but, he really wear his emotion on the sleeve? Yes, yes, that's all. Like that's, emo that's song. That's what he's built his career on. That, that's what Drake I is. I think just the content, but I don't think it was ever as personal as it was now. And I think that's why it kind of felt a little weird. Right. And he's always in control of it. He's always able to control the narrative. Yeah, exactly. He's always able to say, he, yo, he I, 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 I was with this time. chick and she hurt he me and all this. this time. He couldn't control but this that, time. But, but him doing that fits right. within the mode of who Drake is. Say that one more time. I'm, but him doing that about the woman mm -hmm. fits because he's making songs about women and being with these different women, this, this mm -hmm. and other, these love songs or whatever you want to call them. This is different. Mm -hmm. This is different. Right. Like when, when, he, when, he had, when he was on top of Meek, right? He he didn't let up. He kept going. He was the bully. Remember when I called him? Mm -hmm. Called him that. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> and now he don't ran up against somebody bigger and badder, and he wants people to feel sorry for him. That's brilliant. That is I don't brilliant. Think so 
I, I think Drake was the one you were right. Yeah, okay, exactly. There we go. Exactly. There we go. Okay. We're in agreement. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So wh- what about the ply sample thing? Your... Terrible. <laughs> Why was oh, it terrible? Terrible, terrible and pointless. Yeah, and, that, and, that and that's like, nothing like, against plies. Yeah, and that was like one of my favorite tracks when I first did this. And I'm like, why did you end it right with this? You know, with that video. You right. man, you so You yeah. big. See, man. that's oh, the thing. My God. <laughs> like, what the I mean, fuck like you doing? That was a that was a dope beat. Like that was actually a dope, you know, a dope beat. And that I'm was like, eight out of ten. Yeah, that was eight out of ten. Yeah, and this Ruined it. Ruined it. Yeah. Ruined, ruined it. Ruined it. Fucking ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't then put some, oh, you mad, you big mad. Who are you talking, Who are you talking to? to? Right. Mm-hmm. Because you're the one that's big, big mad, mad. Right. because you let yep. the man ruin your album. Right. Thank if you. Drake was the calculated Drake that he's always been, he would he not have let, let this, let this, this happen. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't call he, in the right writers. It, but it, maybe not the right writers, but I think he's just never been in a situation like this before. He's, right. he's uncomfortable. Yeah, he, he's very, he's out of his very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> he's upset. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I saw a meme today. Um, you know, Drake's uh, son's middle name is my bed. That, that's my it's bed? a legend. It's a it's a legend. It. legend. Oh, it's okay. a legend. It hasn't been confirmed. Put that out there. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. It, it was spelled M A H B E D. I don't believe that. Adi Don my bed. Graham. That's what they're saying. Yeah. I don't believe that. Yeah. That's that's what they're that, saying. That, that just sounds way too know. far. But you know why they're saying that? Because he was conceived in a bed? No. no. <laughs> you know on the line where he says, "I only love my bed and my mama." Oh. Yeah, they're, they're saying, saying that that's referencing his son. Yeah. Instead of actually a bed. Okay. So I, I don't know. I, I, I saw. I'm if that's report. really your son's fucking Drake's name, the Drake, Drake, come on, bro. You know what else? I think, else, I think that's Drake's stands reaching. And, and you know what else? Because he clearly went back and rewrote some of this shit, right? I, that's what I said. I, I, said, I said that. I was like, oh, yeah, you can tell he went back yeah. to the drawing board since this Pusha T shit went out. He'll, he had to go back and rewrite some stuff. Him like, adding the lines for his kid, like, I don't know if that came before and after, but it sounds like it came after. But it's like always he, said like Marshall like he team. wanted to own it. But Marshall that song worked here. though. I thought that was actually a solid jam. Like that explained a lot. And what really brought it home was the shit about the eleven. I was like, that's dope. Like where he talk about he he had an eleven yeah, tattoo, tattoo yeah. and apparently it used to refer to some chick he was dating. Mm-hmm. But now it refers to his son because his son was born on the eleventh of October or something. I thought it was March fourteenth, which is. Why they no no was, March fourteenth was something else. March fourteenth represented something else. That's not the oh, kid's okay. birthday. Okay. Well, I saw it online. March fourteenth represented something else. I can't okay. find it now. Okay. Okay. I thought it was a dope reference. Mm-hmm. Like I have this eleven, and it means it used to mean this chick that broke my heart, mm-hmm. and now it means my son who is filling that void or some shit. I was like, okay, oh, okay, okay. Had I mean, my feelings for. Let's go ahead, Jake. <laughs> go ahead, boy. I think it would have been cool if. Pusha T didn't do what he did. Because now it somewhat yeah. seems forced and corny to me. You think it doesn't the song seem would be cool? genuine. Yeah, I think it would work of far course, better. Of course. Now it just seems like, you know, he's oh, trying to. Oh, you're just saying that because yeah, he put you out like, there like of that. Course. He put him out there, I'm like, own it. So I'm going to give you all of these lines about my kid. Drake's a good dad. So yeah, that could play to some of the female crowd, but they also know the story of Adidon too. So they, you know, who knows? October but, 11th. October 11th. Uh, yeah. yeah. I know October 11th was what? <laughs> That's when his child was born. So right? did that have anything to do with October's own and shit? No, because I mean that was before that he was, always <laughs> yeah. So just he coincidentally his yep. his child was born in October. It's God's plan. I think, I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think Drake is born in October too though, right? God damn. Oh, no. yeah. The whole fucking album, Drake's been saying all of this is God's plan. Mind blown. Drake was <laughs> born in October. <laughs> yeah. His kid was born in October. There was an owl outside. They was having sex with the with the big chin girl. All of this was God's plan. <laughs> all of this was big chin girl. All of this was God's plan. Right, all, right. all of it was all God's plan. All this shit has been about Adonis the whole time. It has been. Really? Yes. God's plan. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Look, everybody was like hitting me up about this shit. Man, I knew. Drake did what you wanted. I knew. Drake did it, man. You gonna like this one? And I'm not gonna front. There were some jams I did like. Mm-hmm. Bruh, Jaded? I thought Jaded was That's tight. I thought Final, Final, Final Fantasy yeah. was, that was pretty the first, dope too. I didn't care for that one. That no, one. It wasn't bad, it. but I didn't care for that <laughs> one. But Jaded, I really liked. Um, hold on, After Dark. I did I like that. It was actually good. I did like that. Tiger Dollar did yeah. some nice harmonies he was on, on that he was on shit. Are you a Tiger yeah. Dollar Side fan? Now? I'm not. Why? Well, well, so he's like not. No, no, no. I'm still not. Because, but you but because a I feel like I, I have to give him his props when they're deserved. Mm. And I think when Ty Dollar Sign comes on somebody else's track, I think he does something he doesn't do on his own. Oh, in my feelings. 
It's another one I liked. And my feeling was actually really good. I was like, I dig this song. Um, <laughs> I did now, like but there just weren't very many on there. And I was really expecting to like it. And I think the problem was Drake was making everything a little bit too personal and the lyrics were whack. I think some of the best lyrics on that side happened to be on Don't Matter To Me, which we'll get to Michael Jackson in a minute. But Michael Jackson Removed, I actually thought that song was fucking great. That was The weekend. I you did didn't too think that first. was The weekend. Yeah, I did too. You thought yeah. that Michael, no. Listen, 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 no. listen. Wait, hold on, can I tell no, the story? No, you can't. You can't. Mm -hmm. The people want my I story. Know the feature. <laughs> <laughs> me too. So, so I was actually oh, cleaning no. up when that track came on. And when I heard it, I said, what nigga trying to sound like Mike? I said, there's only one nigga I know sound like Mike when he, you know, he ain't even trying. So I was thinking automatically it was Weekend. When I looked at it, I said, this motherfucker really got Michael Jackson on here. I knew it wasn't Weekend because it didn't sound good. And what? that's the problem. Yes. Well, I, I, he got a fucking Michael Jackson verse I from when Mike was way out of his prime, was probably on drugs, and was on his way out. And I personally, y'all can call me whatever y'all want. I think the shit is disrespectful. Very. I feel like yeah. everyone knows that that did not sound like Michael Jackson. Yeah. It sounded like Michael Jackson, but it wasn't good Michael like Jackson. Like he was doing a demo yeah. of something for a song. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so probably. why would you use that? Because it's Drake. Because it's Drake, yeah. and he can say, I got a Michael Jackson. Yeah, I got a Michael Jackson. Jackson. But it wasn't a good one. But if if that was classic singing-ass Mike, that song would have been fucking. Oh, oh, Mike could have like, killed it. The reason why I didn't know it was The weekend because I saw the track list and I saw Michael, I think somebody sent oh, it to me. Oh, okay. And I saw okay. Michael Jackson on there and I nearly had a damn fit. I yeah. was livid. It's not cool. Now, Ratchet Birthday. No, absolutely not. Don't you dare. Don't you dare say you like that song. I'll say what I want. I love that shit. Ratchet, it's your fucking birthday. Oh my no, God. No, I'm kidding. That song. <laughs> oh, man. knew Mike was playing. That song was, <laughs> was laughably the, the worst. It was the worst song probably on the It was probably the worst song on the whole shit. Yeah. yeah. The worst song. Easy. And I don't understand what he was doing. No he was trying to get his own birthday. They song. I get it, but like Stevie it, Wonder got one, and there's a couple of others. He wanted his own birthday song that'll be played every, everywhere. He wanted the hood people, yeah, he, he wanted, wanted to be. Version. Yeah, he wanted yeah, to be. Steve. You know, you in the club and shit, and it's somebody's birthday, and then they put on that ratchet happy I'm birthday. Playing Luke. I'm playing Luke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tried to get his Luke. There you go. I, I, I get it, shit. but it was just so bad, and it was almost like. He ran completely out of ideas. Yep. The Reese's peanut butter shit, like the you're Reese's so Reese's you're so Reese's soft, Reese's. like a buttercup. Reese's, Reese's. 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 What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? And then it's your burr. It's your burr. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> that? I, yo, I lost what it. What was that? I, like, like, come on, man. It seems like I don't even know what to say no more. <laughs> it just seems like <laughs> something is drastically off. I typically don't like Drake. But this is like a different this is, area of not liking it. Man. Because it's, he's yeah. been affected, man. He's yeah, been affected, yeah. and, and this really gives credence to what Meek Mill is saying, that Drake was not writing his shit, because it seems like the writing on here is completely different. And I don't think it's just that Drake is upset about the push of shit. Like, there's something else that's yeah, going I, on. I, I agree. I think when you say he's ran out of ideas, I think that's part of it. All of you guys watching maybe like, all of you guys just hate Drake. Trust me, this has nothing to do with that. This is bad. It didn't sound like Drake was ready to make an album. It seemed like he made this shit because he felt like he had to. Pusha tried him, so Drake was like, I have to come back with a solid album and shut everybody up. I think Drake was like, well shit, I gotta do something special. Mm -hmm. To make this go away, right. mm. I'm gonna put out a double album. I'm gonna like get a that. Michael Jackson. Feature. I like. I'm gonna get a Michael theory. Jackson. Feature. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do all of. The, I'm gonna make an album. I'm gonna do my J Cole. Right. Where I got barely any features. I got one feature. <laughs> right. And you know it's I mean? one of the biggest rappers of, of all time, and Jay Z on the mainstream. Yeah, me and Jay have had problems for yep. however many years. Now we're on a track. I'm gonna make this album the biggest thing. And well, everybody's gonna talk about Jay Z and, and Michael Jackson and Drake. Yep. 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 And yep. No. And, and and for him to end this song with the boys to men interlude that they had on their second album, Khalid or whatever. Don't nobody know that. It don't matter. Don't nobody know that. But you it don't matter. They need 
to know <laughs> that he shouldn't yeah. ever yeah. do that again. Yeah. Because that was almost as insulting as the Michael Jackson. If you guys ever go listen to, you guys know what Boys and Men are about. The harmonies are smooth, right. you know, army. Yeah. For Drake, who is not that good of a singer, to fuck up Boys and Men <laughs> like that. Mm. Listen, I'm gonna put their version of it uh, uh, on my on the Apple playlist. I think it's called Dead and Soul. Listen to that. It's gonna be on there. You guys can listen to the original version. You don't even have to go hunt for it. Yeah, so my favorite tracks, I uh, kind of said it before, but um, 8 out of 10, Sandra's Rose, Talk Up, uh, Give Me Nice for What. Um, I'm gonna say Jaden, I'm gonna say In My Feelings, um, and I'm gonna say After Dark. I thought those were three solid jams out of 25. <laughs> <laughs> We got uh, survival, emotionless, eight out of ten. Uh, survival. Oh, yeah, um, talk up after dark. I do like the sample of emotionless. <laughs> the content bothers me, but I, I, I can, I can not listen to it. <laughs> so, so Drake, if you watch him, um, he might be, bro, uh, or, 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 or somebody in the camp is, but um. You know, I, I think um, the approach was thoughtful in terms of separating R&B and rap, but the execution was, was, was poor. Obviously, you, you're a rapper that wears your emotions, and um, you know, I, I just think that you've been taken so far out of your element that you sound uncomfortable. Overall, I just think you missed a moment in time to really say, you know, fuck all you niggas. Like, I'm really about this rap shit. I got some bars for you, and fuck the writers. You know, it's all me. And you had that opportunity, and that shit. Drake, if you're watching, you know this album. You know, me personally, I didn't. We didn't need a. I didn't need a double album from me. I need 25 tracks from you. Um, and for it to be like mediocre at best. If it is mediocre at best, hmm. that's not good, man. That's, that's not a good way to try to hold my attention on a, on a double album. You're not doing anything new, anything innovative, anything that where I'm like, okay, that was cool. Like, nothing. I, I'm not like Mike. I, I don't want no R&B album. <laughs> <laughs> something like this. He's too hard for that. I don't want. To, I don't want you. I don't want it to be like this. I'm right. sorry. So, I'm worried about you, bro. I'm worried about you, bro. Um, this isn't you at all, man. This isn't you at all. You know, you're known for having the big hits and uh, complimentary songs, you know, on your albums, and that wasn't here at all. This is a, a, a pretty, pretty bad album. It's possible that you were not focused and because of everything that transpired. You know, I understand that the leaking of the news about your kid could have affected you, you know, and, and you know, your, your performance. I get it, you know, you could probably be emotional about that. And, you know, um, because that moment was taken away from you and you didn't get a chance to announce it the way you wanted to. And if that's the case, we'll find out on the next album. But from what I heard on this album, this just isn't what you customarily do. And that's why I think the end is near, man. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree with Ken. Um, Ken said this is not you, Drake. I think this is you. And I think that's the problem. You need to go back to not being you. <laughs> you need to call those writers and bring them back into the studio and pay them to make you some good music. Because I hate the fact that I have been waiting on you to do this your whole goddamn career. It's like being hungry all day, waiting for a home cooked meal, and your girl bring you fucking Piccadilly. This is a, 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 a Sonic chili cheese puff, <laughs> and I feel like we deserve better, okay? This might sound mean, but believe it or not, I'm your best friend right now. <laughs> so you going to what I said then? Yeah. <laughs> I'm your best friend right now. <laughs> Give us a goddamn RB album, <laughs> but wait until you have. The, the the shock was right, and then call them writers back in, bro, um. and try this again. I love you, man, and I want you to do good. <laughs> so, better luck next time. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Take care. I guess nothing was the same. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. And if you're seeing this, it might be too late. <laughs>